Hey guys, thanks for subscribing to Bonsai Mirai on YouTube. If you like this video, we have a ton more like it on Mirai Live, including weekly live streams, species and technique features, and weekly live Q&As with Ryan Neal. Start your free trial today at live.bonsaimirai.com. The act of creating deadwood and appreciating deadwood is such a pivotal component to bonsai, but once we have deadwood, we have to understand how do we maintain deadwood? How do we handle it? When do we clean it? And how do we preserve it to allow it to last over the course of time in our bonsai's life? We're gonna dig into these techniques and really explore deadwood maintenance and how we maintain it to the highest possible degree to preserve the quality of our tree. Now the first step in deadwood maintenance and preservation is periodically washing the deadwood to remove algae, to remove moss, and to remove impurities that are causing the deadwood to abnormally and rapidly decompose. Deadwood doesn't naturally deteriorate on its own. It has to have elemental factors contributing. And when we think about bonsai cultivation, this is particularly challenging because we water our bonsai frequently. We do facilitate moss, increasing the capacity for the roots to grow in a healthy manner. And with this, we also tend to see the accumulation of algae on this dead portion of the tree. By utilizing a toothbrush or a soft bristled nylon brush, water, and just the appropriate amount of elbow grease to get rid of all of that algae and moss that's accumulating on the surface is enough to set that surface up for future years of success and allow us to preserve that deadwood with a very limited amount of effort. Washing on an annual basis to get rid of algae, moss, and other impurities is a fundamental part of maintaining our deadwood and preserving it for the future. When we perform actions on a bonsai, we have to think about two things, the function of the action and the aesthetic of the action. And in the case of lime sulfur as a preservative for our deadwood, we have to look at it from these two different perspectives. Now, aesthetically, lime sulfur creates contrast. It bleaches the deadwood, which mimics the UV in the higher elevation or in the deserts, showing that contrast of that deadwood to the living vein. But functionally, lime sulfur creates an inhospitable environment on the surface of that deadwood with a very high alkaline pH that prevents algae and moss from growing and preserves that deadwood over the course of time. Now, one of the tricks with lime sulfur is how do we apply lime sulfur to get an even color, to get it to turn a uniform white, and to show the best aesthetic that contrasts with that living vein. And this is where we have to be very technically sound. After the washing process, our deadwood has a lot of water penetration and permeation in the tissue. And this is the perfect time to be applying lime sulfur. Lime sulfur must combine with water to oxidize, off-gas the sulfur, and leave behind the alkaline deposit that creates that beautiful white coloration. It's when the deadwood is thoroughly saturated, has been very carefully washed, that we want to be evenly applying lime sulfur and making sure that it has contact with the water to go through its process of giving us our most brilliant application and aesthetic. As with any application in bonsai, we recognize that by harnessing the technique and understanding the why, we're able to now utilize it to the best of its ability to bring about a beautiful aesthetic. Deadwood maintenance and preservation is a fundamental component of harnessing that age and continuing to allow it to contribute to your tree over time. Visit live.bonsaimirai.com, start your one week free trial to learn more about deadwood, more about preservation, but also to expand your bonsai skills and unlock the potential of what you can truly create inside of this wonderful medium and art form. We look forward to seeing you on the live stream and look forward to contributing to your bonsai journey. Thank you.